Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be a little more technical. I had shown you guys in my previous videos how to build a bass boat and how to make a console. Now people are asking, how do you connect all the accessories together? I will try to make as simple as possible. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you. First, I recommend that you don't touch if you don't have any experience with electronics. But if my subscribers ask, I need to answer. So I will show you a simple basic wire diagram with the accessories needed on a boat. We will plug it wire by wire. Here we see all accessories needed on a boat. Very basic drawing. So now, how do we connect all of these accessories together? You can pause this video at any time to see how the connections are made. So let's start with wire one and two. They will go from battery to fuse box. If you don't know how a fuse box works, please look it up. Basically one side is positive and the other side is negative. It's suggested to always connect your wires without the battery being connected or connect the negative first. Now let's connect the wires of the engine. So the red one goes to the positive of the battery and the black goes to the negative of the battery. It's pretty simple for now. Now let's connect the electric engine. Let's not forget to put recommended gauge wire for your electric engine. Also, on the positive line, you will need to add a auto reset circuit see what's recommended by your manufacturer. With that done, now we can connect the fish finder. I connect it on the always on fuse box. So even if the ignition is not on, the fish finder can be on. I like it that way. For the water pump, we have three wires to connect. From the positive of the fuse box to one of the wires of the float. Once that's connected, then the other wire of the float will go to the positive of the pump. So the float will work as a switch. The last wire will be the negative of the pump goes to the negative of the fuse box. Okay, we are done with whatever needs to be powered at all times, except for the stern light. Now let's connect the ignition key. Connect the positive of the battery to the off position of ignition key. Now, we need to connect the fuse box called WIT ING, which is the ignition key. This will give power to the accessories, only when the key is turned, just like a car. Since we connected the positive to the fuse box, we'll need to connect the negative to the battery now. This will complete the circuit of the fuse box with ING. To complete the ignition key section, there's the starter engine wire to connect. It's usually yellow with a red line on it. You'll turn the key to start your engine, just like a car. We have connected the start engine. We need to connect the kill switch now. It's usually a black wire with a yellow line on it. And of course, the kill switch needs to be grounded. So wire 17 on the drawing will go to the negative of the battery. Now. For the gauges, we'll start by connecting all power in parallel. And let's not forget, we need to connect the ground to the gauge also. Now we'll connect the gauge lights. It's the green line in the drawing. You can add a switch so you can turn them on or off as you like. It will be grounded with the ground gauge. Here we have the fuel sensor wire that needs to go to your fuel sensor. And also we have the temperature sensor wire that needs to go to your temperature sensor on the engine. Let's add the stern light. I like to have the stern light connected on the always on fuse box with a switch so I can turn it on or off. Let me explain why. If you're fishing at night and your engine is off, your light should still be on. The only thing left is the navigation light. 
it appeared right next to the ignition key. You'll need the navigation light only when your engine is on. So I put it on the ignition fuse box. I added a switch to it be able to turn it on and off. Here's a full spaghetti of wires. I hope it helped you to understand how your boat might be wired. If you have any questions or something specific to connect, I will gladly try to help.